saving up enough, and he's still producing off of these three ranks, though. So if he can save up 400, he'll give his uh, he'll give his teammate enough resources to drop a nexus down here at the bottom right or something along those lines. But wow, what a madness, ridiculous game we have so far. Jerry still has a lot of SCVs alive, so the fact that uh, Katz has been mining uninterrupted, there is something happening in Cat's base. What is that? Light blue? Oh, that's actually... What? Oh, that's just the Vestry just resources. <laughs> I thought I thought someone was attacking him for some reason, but here we go. Uh, another tiny engagement. Looks like Cat's is obviously aware of Select's gold mining operation now. Uh, Optic Zero does not have a base to speak of. These mules certainly going to help uh, Select. He does have only 200 minerals, and he's building a bunker and two supply depots currently at the gold base. He does have quite a lot of marines still alive as well. Druby has Basically taken over Optic Zero's base as his own, but all those production facilities still very nearby Cat's base could be kind of uh, daunting. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, he is extremely well defended. All he's going to do is he's going to start working creep down and eventually just attack these with his spine crawlers. But by that time, who knows? Maybe there's enough uh, here to go ahead and take those out. And oh, those Marines are just out of range. They actually can't do any damage to the mineral line there. So sad. Um, let's see. Ah, he is now able to start firing. There's no vision on the high ground. If Select would do some sort of a. There we go. He has to move all of his SCVs away. If he would do some sort of a um, scan, I would assume he could see and actually range these units with the increased range of that bunker. At the same time, though, Select and Optic Zero are going to start moving into the main here of Druby. They are going to take out that bunker, deny the rest of the mine, and Druby is going to run away with his orbital command as fast as he can but he has lost all the rest of his base. And Optic Zero has gotten another Nexus started over at that gold base opposite of Select, so the onus is really on Cats now to try and re reel this game back in. He's only got a Baneling Nest coming up now, a round of five drones. Druby really doesn't have anywhere safe to go. Uh, that orbital command is slow and bulky. It should be easy for Select and Optic Zero to scout. Uh, I'm not sure where the barracks are headed either. Maybe that far middle right base might be okay to try and take over, but Druby really going to have to be careful not revealing his orbital command and four marines taking out a couple of marines there from select not a bad pickup as he tries to rejoin forces with his teammate cats back at home yep and they are going to start making their way against all of these structures i would imagine oh, select coming right behind him though yep and select is behind him he's going to pinch these units off Druby may be able to get into the protection of these spine no, colors though off. Boosh! <laughs> oh impaler tentacle it's not quite walled off no darn spine crawlers being so Fickle with their armor slash <laughs> unit composition, their buildings and units kind of at the same time. But uh, Druby headed with his barracks back to his main. His orbital command is dead. Oh, did he his orbital? Wait, no, it wouldn't say. Where did it say he had to rebuild his base or something? Wow, Select is actually just moving against these. He's going to try and get out of the range here of these spine crawlers. Does so. Look at that complexity. Druby has not rebuilt their base and is being revealed. Apparently didn't have his orbital command far enough away here at the top right. Uh, and Select makes his way in, but Katz has so many Zerglings. Is he going to be able to take him down? Yep. Looks like Katz will be able to kill all the rest of the Marines. But now... This is kind of a 1v1, Cats versus Select at this point. Uh, Select has 8 supply. Is that, is that right? <laughs> Look at the mannered barracks for Druby. The barracks aren't even actually able to do anything. Obviously, Druby doesn't have any supply. I don't believe he has any SCBs alive either. But Optic Zero is reproducing uh, Zealots now, so he is going to be okay in that regard. You are correct. Druby only has 3 Marines left, and that's all. Oh, he does have supply. Um, no, he oh, has... He built two inside of Optic Zero's former main. Ah, and... Oh, look at that. <laughs> and a Marine coming out. Nice job. Pro Marine. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. <laughs> Katz is going to be able to make his way up here. And when we're bouncing up, we have 1,200 people watching these finals as well. So you guys are observing ridiculous game number one. Whoa, 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 whoa! Optic Zero and... Select, leave the game. Hold on, we're going to take a look Select at this. Select only had eight supply. Katz had 34. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he did only have... 13 supply. Well, they, he had no yeah, fighting no, he didn't. He didn't have And no barracks. Oh, he had his barracks, actually. He still so. had his barracks. If he would have lifted those back and played defense no in the bunker. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that is still GG. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, what a ridiculous game there was. It's GG. So Assassin's going to take a 1-0 lead here in this best of seven. They're also in the prime position of coming from the winner's final rather than the lower final. So really, they only have to get to a few more wins here and... They'll be the winners of the $750 to split between them. Yep, absolutely. So we're going to get things started for the next game here momentarily. And don't forget, these players are guaranteed $300 for the team uh, as second place. That is the amount there.